now. Coming up on Crem2 News at noon, you can see those snow flurries already popping up around the inland northwest. We've got more snow on the way. Uh, possibly bringing up to four, maybe even five inches Ooh. to spots of the northwest. That's what we're talking about coming up. New details are emerging today into the disappearance of a Colorado mom with ties to the inland northwest. The prosecution is making its case to charge Kelsey Barrett's fiance with murder. Plus, they are revealing what role an Idaho woman may have been play, may have played rather in the case. And the hiker is sharing his story of survival after being stuck for several hours. Get this in quicksand. Newly released video showing a very daring rescue. Hi, everyone. Thanks for being with us. I'm Laura Papetti. I'm Jen York alongside Evan Arani. As you mentioned, a storm is on the way and it could bring up to a foot of snow in some places yeah, across the well, Northwest. That's the big story is spots like Spokane, maybe three to four inches. The forecast for Pullman, your Cougs down south along the Palouse, mm. uh, looking at a possibility of up to a foot of additional snow. <laughs> no. I saw Laura's eyes <laughs> open so wide. I, <laughs> I could just imagine if you were still in school, you just wouldn't move. You would I'd just have to call my parents professor and be like, sorry, no. I don't care if you it. cancel class, right. I'm canceling yeah. class. Yeah, can't make it. <laughs> All right. Let's head over to the Weather Center where we're going to be talking about uh, what to expect over the next couple hours and really over the next couple days. Taking a look at the temperatures, we've started warming up quite a bit into our afternoon hours, but uh, really not by much. We're still uh, about 15 degrees below average, so you can see our overnight low going into this morning, 9 degrees. We were in single digits. We've now warmed up to about 22 degrees, uh, but still temperatures are not going to be above that freezing point at any point in the day which means everything that's coming over the next uh, 12 hours or so and really over the next 24 hours is going to be in the form of snow. Now watch our chances of snow increase as the day goes on. We're seeing a couple of those scattered snow flurries passing through right now around noon. We'll get a little bit of a break and then just around 3 and 4 p.m. is where our chances really uh, jump up to widespread snow uh, around us. On that day planner, we're looking at about 26 degrees for the afternoon high around 5 p.m. Moderate snow we'll be seeing just around then and I'll give you a look at that satellite right where you can already see uh, those snow showers developing around us. So that's going to continue to form and uh, kind of create more of a widespread system around us, continuing all the way into your Wednesday and the beginning portion of your Thursday. Coming up, we're going to be talking about just how much snow to expect. We mentioned how much Spokane and the Palouse could see, uh, but there are plenty of spots around the Northwest that may not even see snow tomorrow. Uh, so we'll talk about where to expect it and where you might be a little bit dry going into the next couple days. Back to you guys. Evan, thank you. The cold, snowy weather we are seeing lately hits hardest for those out in the streets. It's been so tough, and that is why Spokane has warming centers all throughout the city. And right now, there are four. Three are operated by the Guardians Foundation. The foundation director says the shelters saw a huge influx, almost double the number of people when that harsh weather began. And that meant stepping up the staff and finding ways to add more spaces to the shelters. Staffers are also coordinating between locations to help transport people from overflowing center to those with a little bit more space. Having a, an operation like this during the inclement weather has given them a, a place to gather to where they feel a, a sense of community. The executive director says if his foundation can stop even one person from being exposed to the elements, then the warming center program will have been considered a success. And as you can see, many people gathering. It is 12.03 right now. The man accused of killing a missing Colorado mother is in court today. The prosecution is making its case to try Patrick Frazee with fiance Kelsey Barrett's murder. She was last seen on Thanksgiving Day. Her body has not been found, but authorities believe she is no longer alive. Today in court, authorities say they found Barrett's blood spread throughout her bathroom. We learned Frazee told police the two were going their separate ways at the time of her disappearance. Police say Frazee took custody of the couple's baby the last day she was seen alive. Frazee also told police in a recorded call their custody, custody arrangement was loosely defined. Now, P Barrett's parents believe he wanted full custody of the baby, and that has been the motive for murder. Idaho nurse Crystal Kenny already pleaded guilty to tampering with Barris' cell phone following her disappearance. And then we learned today that Kenny was in Colorado around the same time that Barris went missing. She admitted to a romantic relationship with Frazee as well. She says Frazee once asked her to poison a drink and give it to Barris as well. As part of her plea deal, Kenny agreed to testify at Frazee's trial. Frazee is charged with two counts of first degree murder. This preliminary hearing, however, is still in session. Going on right now, they took a break. They are expected to reconvene in about 30 minutes our time. And again, going on, so you'll want updates on this case. You can always go to creme.com and always on the Creme2 mobile app. 
All right, 12.05 right now. Rescue crews are searching for a missing man today in Idaho. He was last seen in a remote part of southwest Idaho. Rescuers did find his wife and baby after they were stranded for more than a week. But the search is still on for 32-year-old Eric Rose. He went missing in the Oahe Mountains. The couple spent eight nights in the freezing cold after trying to take a shortcut through snowy roads. The family was on their way to California, but the car got stuck. After three days of waiting, Rose decided to go out and look for help. Now, he has not been seen since. His wife and daughter were able to find a nearby cabin, and they were rescued a few days later. And he's on the move. Some dramatic video. Take a look. A hiker is recovering after being stuck for several hours in quicksand. This is video of his rescue in Utah yeah, Zion National around. Park. It became, he became stuck on Saturday while hiking, and he was stuck for roughly 12 hours before crews were able to get him out. The man suffered some minor muscle damage, but all in all is expected to be okay. Taking a look at some of your national headlines, Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders announced he is running for president. This will be his second bid at America's top job. The 77-year-old is a self-described Democratic Socialist. He challenged Hillary Clinton in the Democratic presidential primary back in 2016. All right, 16 states have filed a lawsuit challenging President Trump's plan to build a border wall without the approval of Congress. President Trump responded on Twitter saying he predicted open border Democrats would file suit in California. The lawsuit calls the president's decision to declare a national emergency unlawful and unconstitutional. Chanel's iconic designer Karl Lagerfeld has died. His designs dominated high fashion for the last 50 years. Of course, he was known for his trademark white ponytail, dark glasses and high starched collar. Lagerfeld died early this morning at the age of 85. All right, it is 12.07 right now. It was a bit of a scare at 49 degrees north in Chewila. A couple of skiers had just sat down on one lift when the chair detached from the cable.